This is Mike Mozart on the Toy Channel on YouTube. These are drawings and artwork I made for the Danbury Mint for Monopoly collectibles from 1995 to about 2002. I probably did 14 projects for these. These were done in 1997, 1998. These were little collectible figurines and I have quite a lot of artwork for these. I created this artwork when Alec Monopoly was about nine or 10 years old probably. This is original artwork that I used to create a line of collectible figurines, collectible toys, collectible little game things for the Danbury Mint Company. And I did quite a few Monopoly projects for them in the 1990s. Just to give you an idea how long ago this was, this is almost 30 years ago and Halleck Monopoly was probably seven or eight years old at the time when I was doing all this Monopoly stuff. This is just the Danbury Mint. This isn't the Monopoly stuff I was doing for McDonald's or the Monopoly stuff I was actually doing for Hasbro for other licensed products. But this is the artwork I have laying out right now. This is original black and white artwork. These are my design drawings that were used to create the sculptures for these collectible figurines. These are called comp sketches. That means there's test sketches. If you're gonna create a product, it's a really good idea to do little samples first to see if you like them and how they look. And you can explore different ways of making them. Like this one is shown with a cast lucite base. The figures would have been cast lucite and clear, and this would have been engraved with the different parts of the Monopoly game. This one has a lucite base, but it has a resin top. This is a resin Santa that I created for Horizons East. It's a company that did a lot of Christmas stuff. Now, all of these products, the Horizons East products and Dan Bremen, all these things are signed Michael Wolf. The reason I signed Michael Wolf is my real name is Wolfgang Miguel Mozart. And I switched just to Michael Wolf to make it simpler at the time. And it, this shows the variations that could have been made, the different permutations that could be made. So I worked on this line, probably took about two or three months on and off. Probably six separate um, big meetings in a corporate boardroom at the Danbury Mint to try to come up with a good design. I had an idea early on. If I took the original drawings, this is an original drawing that's actually on a chance card, I thought it was kind of boring and didn't add anything new to it. So what I tried to do is I had the idea to add a piece of Monopoly board. So Mr. Monopoly now has the little shoe and this is the original sketch. I made him have one bare foot like the shoe fell off when the police officer arrested him. It's not like that on the card. This is the artwork that was used for the actual sculpture. This is real artwork. Signed Michael Wolf. This is 1998. And I did that with all of these. I decided, you know what, I'm going to add the dog to this one, where Mr. Monopoly is holding and carrying the dog along with him. I had the little boy here. Initially, I had him having lost his shoe. But I decided, in the final one, hey, let's have the little guy holding the little car. So this is what happened. This is a development process that I went through on most of the products I did for Danbury Mint. Actually, most of the large corporations I did work for. Remember, these are done you know, when Alec Monopoly was nine, 10 years old. I am a real OG artist of the Monopoly guy and have been for years. And this work really doesn't look that much different from what I'm doing right now, does it? I just want you to see this. And there's a lot more sketches and design artwork for this. If anyone's interested in this, I would be willing to sell some of this. And I will countersign it with my, you know, current name I use for art, which is Michael Moser. Or you can, or I could just sign it, um, uh, Wolfgang, Wolfgang Michael Moser, if anyone wishes. But this is my artwork. This is my design. I have all the original sketches that went into these projects. As the original invoice, here's the original invoice. Dan Bremen is called MBI. As the original invoice, thanks, Mike Moser. That's just for one of these little projects. And I have the original notes from the original art directors. And I have samples of all the different bases I attempted. Clear lucite with metal plaques, wood with metal plaques. Um, lucite with angles on it, like over here, look. That's lucite with beveled angles with no metal plaque on the front. I tried everything. I mean, this is what they expected from me and I was the best at this. I created the artwork fast and it was magnificent. I would do these sketches. Look at this, I should do this as a painting. And I would go to a board of directors meeting of Danbury Mint and say, I like this. And the little treasure chest could be lucite too. Maybe you prefer it on a wood base like this. Maybe you prefer it on a wood base with a metal top, whereas this one had a wood top. Maybe you liked uh, the lucite base, 
but maybe like it in a different color. Maybe it's blue lucite. That's just what I gave is I gave variations. I gave different permutations. This is sort of like what Andy Warhol would do with all of his silk screens. I made certain that if somebody wanted something, they would be able to have a choice of what their manufacturing would be. I often got royalties on these projects. All the artwork for this project is available to own right now. These are original works of art. These are absolutely amazing. These were all dated 1998, and it's quite exceptional. If anyone's interested, please, please message me. I have been overwhelmed working night and day because of the documentary that's been filmed. It's been hours and hours of research, finding the original sample, finding the original artwork to prove that I actually did all this stuff. And it's very obvious, I did a lot. And you're gonna be seeing quite a lot of this in the next few days. And I've been working and catching up on all the work that I have here and it's been monumental, but I'm doing pretty good. Okay. I have similar artwork for a lot of other projects. The reason I pulled these out is that documentary is being filmed on my life. And it's been an adventurous one. And when everyone realizes just how much artwork I've done, what an OG artist I am of all the Disney products, you know, all the Garfield products, all the Sesame Street, Muppets products, all the Monopoly products. I, I've done hundreds of projects and I have sketches for quite a few of these, but this is, this is something really special. If anyone's interested in these, these are available and there's a number of them for different projects and I'm trying to sort them all out right now. So don't hesitate to contact me. Remember, Art is valuable because of the signature on it. My artwork that I'm doing right now is without compare because I am an OG artist of Mr. Monopoly and Richie Rich and Uncle Scrooge McDuck. I was doing these characters in the 80s and 90s, the 1980s and 1990s, before most of the artists doing them now were even born. I'm a real artist creating real artwork. This is before the age of computers. It's before CGI was done. This is before almost any modern convenience to create artwork. A lot of these were handmade with airbrushes and comp markers. And one of them could be yours. But remember, if I create a work of art for you, it's something very unique and very special. And I'm going to show just what a track record I have of 40 years of creating projects like this. Thanks again.